Hello my lovelies, uh, it's been a while since I've uh, been up on YouTube, I just wanted to offer you um, an opportunity to connect and do some clearing. Uh, I'm feeling very much personally and um, energetically around me that there's kind of a feeling um, that we're experiencing about being stuck, stuck in a rut. And one of the modalities that I've been working with is an emotional freedom technique and it's a way of clearing the system of the emotional debris that we hold um, from past experiences but it's also a way of just allowing ourselves a meditative tricky word to say meditative moments um, so I'm gonna tap with you and you can follow in once you can see the the body parts that I'm tapping on if there's any restrictions in your mobility uh, or preferences to not tap on a part of your face your head uh, your upper body then you don't have to. Uh, you can just tap on the side of the hand if that feels good for you, or just repeat the affirmations. So what we're doing in emotional freedom technique is using acupressure points in certain parts of the body, along with positive affirmations. I've used positive affirmations uh, as part of my well-being practice, my self-love practice, my healing practice, my balancing practice for many, many years. Uh, but the combination with the emotional freedom technique really helps sort of the, the metaphor that, that's used is the garden. You know, you can't plant the roses in the garden until you've dug out the weeds. So when we acknowledge the negative, we acknowledge the weeds and we tap and we access that, that, that lived sensory memory in the body, we're then helping to release it uh, to clear space for the new, for the positive that we want to have planted, embedded in our experience. So I don't want to say too much because it's a lived experience. It's a, it's a practice that we can do together. I'm going to invite you now to get seated comfortably and we're going to take three deep breaths together. So this is going to be a practice, as I say, for when we're feeling stuck in the rut and just to breathe. Three simple deep breaths can be a real joy and release just from that energy. And then we're going to go into the tapping practice. So together and just breathe into your capacity. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils. You can lift the shoulders. And then exhale, sigh and drop it out. <sighs> Two more times. Inhale. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> and with whatever that you feel stuck with, however you're feeling in this moment, just allow that and accept it. The whole premise of this practice is to realise that we can find ease and release in every moment just by the choices we make and the actions that we take to self-soothe rather than actually plough on and, and take some grand action to release us from the situation. So small acts have big rewards. Okay, so the first point is the karate chop. Tapping here on the bottom of the hand and keep breathing, keep the belly soft. We're going to say the phrase three times here and then we'll move on to tap on different parts of the head and the upper body. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. So you can say it along with me or repeat. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel completely stuck in a rut. I completely love and accept myself. So we start digging out the weeds. I feel stuck in a rut. Tapping on the crown. The inside of the eyebrows. I feel stuck in a rut. And do say the affirmations out loud if you can or think them to yourselves. Sides of the eyebrows. I feel stuck in a rut. Under the eyes, I feel stuck in a rut. We're going under the nose and then under the bottom lip. I feel stuck in a rut. And then to the collarbones, I feel stuck in a rut. And then under the armpits where if you're wearing a bra, the straps would be, I feel stuck in a rut. And then back to the karate chop. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. 
Take a breath, release the belly. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Okay, so I'm gonna take a deep breath. Again, side out. So what can happen with the first round is we can feel, you know, the, the tension around the experience that makes us feel we're stuck in a rut. So we're gonna do another round the same way and just work on releasing. Okay, so three times, karate chop on the side of the hands. We're activating the acupressure points in the fingertips. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Okay, into the crown. I completely love and accept myself. Inside of the eyebrows. I completely love and accept myself. Side of the eyes. I completely love and accept myself. Under the eyes. I completely love and accept myself. Around the mouth. I completely love and accept myself. Start of the collarbones. I completely love and accept myself. Under the arms, I completely love and accept myself. And back to the karate chop. I completely love and accept myself. I completely love and accept myself. I completely love and accept myself. Take another deep breath in. And sigh and release. Even though I'm stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Giving yourself permission to just sit with who you are in this experience and just to feel your feelings and for all of that to be okay and welcome. So you can repeat this as many times as you need to. You can just tap on the hand. I quite like to tap on the heart. Just slowly so you don't increase any tension or anxiety. So to close, we will do that together with your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Two more times. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel stuck in a rut, I completely love and accept myself. So just take as much time as you need, maybe repeat the practice, watch this video again. If you find it helpful, then you can let me know in the comments below, you can forward it to a friend. I offer one-to-one -one sessions, there's information more about that on my website. And I'll be back with you soon to help you clear and release energy that doesn't serve us. Much, much love. Take care.